The normal life of people in the city was suddenly disturbed just because of the appearance of a light from the sky. Nature has given humans a gift that everyone would criticize, a horrifying disaster called a dungeon explosion. Beasts rushed out from deep black holes, many people died because of their sweep, and his parents were no exception. Sun Yun was in extreme pain, in just one day he lost everything, he blamed himself to the point of crying tears of blood. He swore to himself that he would definitely become a hunter and tear off his limbs, destroying all the monsters. But the reality is extremely cruel, on this very day seven years later, Sung Hoon is still a failure. He was kicked out of the hunter training center for not being able to complete the training in the training room. He has been attached to that center for seven years, but as a result, he still cannot become a real hunter. The coach used extremely harsh words to insult him. His talent was even worse than trash. If we keep you, our center's reputation will also turn into trash. Not only was he looked down upon by the coach, he was also ridiculed by the students in the center. The more Sun Yun thought about it, the angrier he became. After seven years of endless training, not only could he not unlock unique characteristics or skills, his stats didn't even increase. Thousands of questions were raised in his mind. Just when he was at his most desperate, he accidentally overheard a conversation between a mother and her son. The little girl told her mother that she would become a great hunter in the future. Her mother was extremely proud of her, she advised her not to give up on her dream. Because it was the four words not to give up that awakened Sung Yoon's inner self to life. He walked in front of the mother and child, bowed 90 degrees to thank the mother for her words, then ran away. Sung Yoon ran to the coach's house, he would not give up, he had practiced hard for seven years, he definitely could not give up easily. Sun Yun threw away his dignity, bowed his head and asked the coach to give him another chance, to help him take the hunter exam again. The coach is extremely disgusted with you. In his eyes, you are just trash. What does trash have to train? He gave Sun Yun a punch, causing his nose to bleed and his whole body to fly straight into the trash can, before entering the house, leaving Sun Yun with the words, loser bastard. Sun Yun sat dazed in the rain. He didn't know if he was in pain or not, his senses were almost frozen. He wished he had a unique characteristic, or just a little talent, then things wouldn't have come to this. And then, his strong will move the trial tower. The system sent him a notification that the trial tower was praising you for your steadfast will. Before Sun Yun could even understand what was happening, his whole body was slowly engulfed by something. Sun Yun was completely unable to control himself. His whole body sank deeper and deeper into the water. He went straight through the water, going to a completely different place. The system panel in front of him displayed a message. The trial tower had selected all suitable candidates from Earth. Before Sun Yun was surprised, the tower asked him to choose the difficulty level, and the reward he would receive would be commensurate with the difficulty level chosen. Even though Sun Yun didn't know what was going on, he just chose according to his hunch first and then calculated. Immediately Sun Yun was taken to the first floor. All stats and abnormal statuses of the challengers would be restored. Sun Yun was taken to the desert. He was equipped with a sword by the system. The system's goal for him was to survive. And the reward upon completion would unlock a unique characteristic. Sun Yun looked at his hands. If he won this challenge, wouldn't he get back what he had worked hard to practice for the past seven years? He quickly stepped up to get the sword, the challenge officially began. Again he passed by, asking her to come and go. A person like Sun Yun who had not unlocked any unique characteristics yet courageously chose a difficult level of trial. The activated sand golem appeared. Sun Yun was bewildered and surprised. The monster in front of him was hundreds of thousands of times heavier than him. Sun Yun started to run away. He had to live with this monster for 9 minutes and 58 seconds and he would die if the test failed. Sun Yun tried to speed up as much as possible. If he made one mistake, he would definitely die here, the end for those who don't know their own strength. Sun Yun was extremely confused. Could he escape the sand golems by running away like this? The sand golems were close behind him. Sun Yun used all his brain to think. With his strength, it was impossible to run around in the desert for 9 minutes. He looked at the sword in his hand, if the tower had given him the sword and told him to survive, 
There must have been some purpose. Sun Yun is faced with two choices. One is to run away and die from exhaustion, the other is to fight and die. Option A is also dead. Option B is also dead. Sun Yun was extremely confused, not knowing how to get rid of this monster. In this moment, Sun Yun accidentally remembered humanity's harsh words towards him. This golem was just like their harsh words trying to trample him. Sun Yun said tightly, he kept running forward, he didn't want himself to end here. He spent seven years of his youth becoming a hunter. If it was theoretical, he could now confidently say that he knew more than most hunters in the same field. If you keep running away, it won't do anything, you must find a way to survive. The seven years of knowledge he had learned immediately rushed back. Golem-type monsters would stop moving if he could destroy their energy core. However, their cores are often in hard-to-reach places. The chase on the sand continues. After a moment of pondering, Sun Yun decided to make the monster's core easier to reach. Sun Yun quickly changed the direction of movement, his whole body facing the beast's chest. The monster swung his fist, a sandstorm appeared, and the wind and sand rushed in. Sun Yun firmly pinned the sword into the sand, trying to withstand the sandstorm. The monster was knocked down by his own attack and rolled onto the sand. Sun Yun realized this was the right time. He rushed to the monster's core, then decisively slashed at its core. However, the monster's core was stronger than Sun Yun thought. He could only create a crack on the outside of the core. The beast growled and stood up. Sun Yun became more and more confused, wishing he could hit them one more time. But the beast grabbed him, it squeezed Sun Yun's body, just a small movement from it made his flesh crumble. But if it does that, it won't be fun, it will slowly enjoy the smell of human blood in its mouth. Sun Yun still did not want to give up, the will to survive urged him to continue holding the sword, he threw the sword into his mouth and asked it to shut up. Sun Yun's aura reflected, no matter how much effort he spent, he still couldn't do anything to it, now accidentally throwing the sword into its mouth was able to destroy it. The beast roared loudly, the system displayed a notification, you have destroyed the energy core of the sand golem. His first test was successful, even he couldn't believe that he could defeat the sand golem, it was surprising. Sun Yun slowly stood up with his body covered in blood, he was finally alive. He obscured his exclusive characteristic, received 1000 points, not only that, but also received a bonus reward of accelerated recovery skill and received an additional 500 points. He couldn't believe it more and more, the past seven years he had really tried so hard. But the only thing he received were scorn and sarcasm. Now things were different, his efforts were recognized. Not only that, he was also given the title of unique necromancy attribute by the system. Sun Yun can now become a hunter, but to become a hunter, he must survive and get out. Right at this moment, before his eyes suddenly appeared a black cloud with many circles rotating around it. Sun Yun was surprised, not knowing what it was. He curiously touched it and received a notification that the unique feature of F's soulmate had been activated. The system asked him if he wanted to absorb the sand golem's soul. Sun Yun just realized that the black mist just now was his unique characteristic. The black mist suddenly spread out, enveloping Sun Yun then slowly entering his body when he chose the yes option. Sun Yun has absorbed the soul of the sand golem, his proficiency has increased by 7%. The golem's soul went straight into his body. Sun Yun was now in a different position as he received the golem's soul. He can sense the energy of souls, he can store these souls by absorbing it. The chimpanzee system sends notifications, you can increase the stats in the status panel with the souls you collect. Your strength stat has increased by 3. Your health stat has increased by 2 points. What the system just sent to Sun Yun, he completely felt. His body glowed. He felt like there was a source of energy running through his body. Sun Yun was indescribably happy. His stats really increased. He hadn't increased a single stat point in the past 17 years. He could finally increase these stats without limit. Sun Yun's happy smile was clearly visible on his face. He had acquired a unique property called F-level death spirit magic, with the basic effect of being able to absorb dead souls and use them at will, effectively. Side effects. 
Stats can be regularly increased in the status panel. The level of increase depends on the rank and quality of the soul used. In addition, Sung Yoon also has a side effect, being able to store words and use souls. The number of souls that can store words will increase with the corresponding level. A door suddenly appeared in front of him with a notice, please move to the waiting room. Sung Yoon slowly walked through the door because he had no other choice. As soon as Sung Yoon walked through the door, his body immediately fell sideways, unable to keep his balance, and finally fell forward. Perhaps his injury was more serious than he imagined. However, the pain did not last long. His body suddenly healed. All the wounds on his body disappeared. Sun Yoon slowly walked to the bed in front. Perhaps every time he completed the challenge, his body would be healed. He quickly jumped into bed, staring at the ceiling. He didn't know what to do. Can you really escape this tower of trials? Is there any other reason why this tower brought you here? At that moment, the system appeared in front of him with a few prompts. You can use the five commands below according to instructions, information, store, community, inventory, trial. You just need to shout loudly to activate. Sun Yoon slowly woke up. He still couldn't understand these things. He kept slapping his face. Now he would focus on how to survive first. He decided to use the trial command, but the system sent him a notification that you cannot activate the trial command yet. Please wait, you continue to try the community order. A chat board of all the players who had chosen the same difficulty level as him appeared. They were discussing the reason for their appearance. Sun Yoon looked at each chat line. It seemed like everyone seemed confused and there were even people who weren't hunters who were brought to this place. At that moment, in front of him appeared the words, Administrator 30 just logged in. The chat system is temporarily down. The admin has some important information to inform them. Messages slowly appeared, instructing players how to use the points they had earned from the tutorial challenge. The scores will be used as a currency inside this trial tower. They can be used to purchase items from the store, and points can also be given and received from others through community commands. In this Tower of Trials, not having points is equivalent to not being able to get anything, not even a drop of water. The information given by the administrator made Sung Yoon extremely surprised. You can only earn points in the challenge, in other words, as long as you stay in this tower. Then you have to do everything to get acquainted with the rules set out here and if you don't have points, you won't be able to get a single drop of water. That means you have to earn a lot of moves and to earn points. You have to overcome the challenges that are set. Sun Yoon was helpless. He thought that if he just returned, he could become a hunter. He looked at the sword that was placed next to him. With just a long sword, he couldn't do much. He hurriedly read the store's orders. He prepared shields, armor, and shoes for himself. He started training because he knew one thing clearly. If he didn't practice, he would have no way to catch up with them. After a while of frantic dancing, Sun Yoon lay exhausted on the floor, his body quickly healed. He immediately stood up, thanks to the healing effect in the waiting room, training became easier for him than ever. He reminded himself that as long as he practiced, he could easily overcome the next challenges. The remaining time before reaching the second trial level was 17 minutes and 17 seconds, he asked himself, can he continue to live? Sun Yoon told himself, he must survive, he must survive. The countdown time for the second floor trial began, and he was taken by the system to the second floor trial. He was taken to a forest setting. This time the challenge topic was assassination. He had to assassinate the OC clan leader within the specified time. In front of Sung Yoon immediately appeared a village of the OC tribe. As soon as he saw the group of beasts with strong muscles and fierce faces, he felt scared. Now the system forced him to hunt OC even the OC clan leader. With his seven years of accumulated knowledge, Sung Versus learned that normally in dungeons, if there is a guard in the OC clan, people will call that there is a hunter in that OC clan. It is also very difficult to you can defeat an OC hunter, not to mention there are too many OCs right now. To be able to defeat all the OCs, at least one team consisting of hunters of level E or higher is needed. This is to ensure the lives of the hunters, but Sung Yoon's current situation is difficult to meet. When he was preparing to retreat, looking for a plan to defeat them next time, 
the plan suddenly came to him. Sun Yun lit a few torches, then placed the torches he had just lit inside the warehouse. Sun Yun clearly understood the characteristics of the OCs. Although the OCs looked like a big lazy bunch, they were actually a very diligent race. The OC hunters usually go hunting early in the morning and return at dusk, so you'll have quite a bit of time. He decided to use fire to defeat them. The OC village before his eyes now only had a few OCs assigned to stay in guard. This is also the right time for him to carry out his plan. Sun Yun started to take out the fire, then arbitrarily threw the torches that had been prepared in advance out. The fire quickly spread to the OC village. The OC crowd began to panic, devoting all their strength to extinguishing the fire. Sun Yun used fire to contain the village, then he would no longer need to worry about encountering the OC hunters when they returned from the hunt. Before they return, you must kill at least two. Sun Yun hid in the bushes near the stream, the OCs did not know the danger was approaching them. They continuously ran back and forth to get water to put out the fire, completely unaware. When the time was right, he suddenly stepped out, skewering the OC with his sword. OC's soul was immediately collected by him into his body, his proficiency level increased by 9%. In just a moment, Sun Yun's actions attracted an octopus guard. Even he could not have predicted this. OC immediately attacked him. Sun Yun quickly took up the defensive shield. He activated the absorb command. Using stored soul points, the stats will increase by a certain amount. Strength increased by 4. Agility increased by 2. Sun Yun started to counterattack, until finally the OC was defeated by his hands. Afterwards, Sun Yun absorbed its soul into his body. Thanks to that, the accelerated recovery skill has been renewed, physical strength has increased by 4, strength has increased by 2, and agility has increased by 3. Sun Yun received points from the system, he began to have more spirit, defeating the OC guards began to mean more to him. The fire created by Sun Yun burned more and more fiercely, the time for him to act had come. He slowly stepped forward, Sun Yun observed the situation in front of him, there were a total of five, three workers, one guard and one leader. Sun Yun believes that if he is careful with the guard, defeating the leader will not be a big problem. Sun Yun aggressively rushed forward, holding his shield and sword. Now he was in a different position. Thanks to absorbing the guards, these workers were no longer anything to him. Sun Yun quickly broke through the siege. He approached the OC guard. Sun Yun quickly used the shield to cover and defend. He silently assessed the situation. The guard had been separated from the leader and it seemed that it was gradually losing trust in this guard. That also means, this OC is his last obstacle. Sun Yun put all his strength and stabbed the sword straight into OC's stomach. Another OC was defeated under his hand. When he was about to move forward, the leader OC suddenly attacked him, his stick creating a fireball aimed straight at Sun Yun. Sun Yun still stubbornly used his shield to shield himself. When the fire disappeared, from within the thick smoke, Sun Yun's figure was still standing there. He had received the Firebender Resistance Achievement. He gritted his teeth and said to O.C., You're definitely dead. O.C. asked Greg Greg to warn Sun Yun. Sun Yun was now on another level. He moved like the lightning bolt. He turned the weapon in O.C.'s hand into two pieces. Not only was the weapon destroyed, Sun Yun's arm was also cut off. OC screamed in pain. He was extremely shocked. His arm was cut off by Sun Yun. He cried and ran inside the base. Sun Yun slowly followed OC's footsteps to go inside. He stood in front of the tent door, breaking the door. However, the scene before his eyes made him freeze. The ferocious octopus was trembling in fear while holding its two small children in its arms. And O.C. was still trembling and kneeling at Sun Yun's feet, two tears flowing down, seemingly begging Sun Yun to spare its clan's life. Memories of seven years ago suddenly came back, during that dangerous situation, his parents used all their strength to hold back the monsters to give him time to escape. At that moment, the seemingly innocent little octopus suddenly pulled out the knife from behind, his face instantly became fierce, it turned out it was all just an act. Sun Yun immediately reacted, he used the hilt of his sword to hit its head, 
blood immediately gushed out from O.C.'s nose, and he fell to the ground. The big O.C. and the baby O.C. quickly ran up and continued to attack Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon with sharp eyes, slashed them to death with one sword. From the beginning, he didn't trust these monsters. Even if they became ghosts, he would still kill all of them. His second trial trial was finally a success. Sun Yoon was taken to the system's waiting room. It was thanks to this shield that he was able to pass the second room trial, but now it was broken. Now, you have to find another one. Sun Yoon opened the community bulletin board, then discovered that more than half of the participating members had died. It's truly cruel. Sun Yoon's eyes suddenly became surprised. He saw a player texting the community chat with his question form. I have found a way to return to Earth. Sun Yoon fell into thought, wondering if there was a way to return to Earth. Information is one of five command codes that can be used in the test tower. He read the information command, an information panel appeared in front of him. Please write your question. All written questions will be sent and a response will be awaited from moderator. Each time you enter a new floor, you will receive a question paper. By sharing the information each person gained through questionnaires, the chat room atmosphere naturally became a place where people shared what they learned. After eliminating all the minor details, Sun Yoon grasped the main point as follows. There was a temporary return stone that could help the user return to Earth for a few days after they completed the fifth floor. There are also sources that say that on the seventh floor, there will be a more extensive system than the floors below and there will be items for sale that can help return to Earth permanently. Sun Yoon stared at his unique characteristics. If he had this ability on Earth, he could become an A-level hunter. He scratched his head and really wanted to return to Earth. Too much. You had to work extremely hard to complete two floors. So how can you complete all eight floors? Sun Yoon tries to be optimistic in the midst of negativity. After all, his index has increased and is heading towards the 20 mark. Sun Yoon threw away the tattered shirt he was wearing. First, he had obtained five souls by risking his life. Now he had to absorb them first. His strength, endurance, agility, and magic attribute stats are constantly increasing. Sun Yoon immediately felt the strength filling his body. He shot up like flying, feeling extremely excited. This was a feeling he had never felt on Earth. The power was beyond his imagination. But this speed seemed too fast, making Sun Yoon unable to control it, accidentally crashing into the wall. Sun Yoon continued to read the store's orders. He used 2,100 points to buy a D-level goose shield. After that, he opened his bag and took out the iron sword and assassin's cloak that had been given to him from the previous trial. Sun Yoon continued to focus on training. He was determined to become so strong that no one could compare. Trial round number three quickly began. The goal this time of this stage was called confrontation. Sun Yoon was given a cave. The system appeared before Sun Yoon's eyes. After 10 seconds, the Shadow Guardian will appear. Sun Yoon is extremely alert. His opponent this time could appear at any time. As the countdown reaches zero, the Guardian of My Shadow is entering. A dark shadow suddenly appeared behind Sun Yoon, shoulder to shoulder, and even quickly proactively attacked Sun Yoon's stomach with a sword. The beast smiled terrifyingly at him. His opponent has appeared. He must defeat the Shadow Guardian doppelganger. Sun Yoon felt the pain, immediately turned around, kicked him in the stomach, and he quickly backed away. The two stood facing each other, an extremely tense atmosphere. The beast looked at you with interest. You will become a delicious dish for me. Sun Yoon immediately activated his accelerated recovery ability, quickly healing the wound caused by the monster. Even though he was injured, he was still extremely lucky. If he hadn't dodged in time, his spine would have been cut in two. Only then did Sun Yoon realize that the monster standing in front of him was imitating his fighting posture. It seems that Sun Yoon must quickly defeat it. If this situation continues it will only be disadvantageous for him. Sun Yoon proactively attacked the beast. He slashed several lines on his body, each drop of blood continuously falling from his body. However, that alone still won't defeat this monster. He even has the ability to self-recover like Sun Yoon. This time the beast proactively rushed to attack him. As soon as Sun Yoon looked, he knew that this beast was imitating his actions. 
He immediately put his foot out, blocking his path, then kicked him hard back. The beast stretched out its hand, aiming to attack him. Sun Yun quickly fell back to defend. If this beast tried to follow him, then he had to take advantage of the weakness in his own sword skills to defeat it. Sun Yun once again proactively rushed towards the beast. He continuously moved to attack the beast. Just when he thought everything was going according to his direction, the beast's sword suddenly appeared in front of him. A stream of blood flowed out, and a sword mark appeared on his neck. Sun Yun was surprised and surprised. He did not understand what had just happened. The situation suddenly changed. The beast completely gained the upper hand, continuously attacking Sun Yun. Sun Yun tried to defend himself. He clenched his fists. Could it be that his opponent had become stronger in such a short time? After a while, Sun Yun was violently attacked by the beast. The beast actively jumped back, increasing its distance from him. The surprised expression on the beast's face suddenly appeared. Sun Yun was in a completely new attack position. He activated the skill of Class D Assassin's Cloak, which can increase movement speed by 15%. Sun Yun's eyebrows furrowed together. He couldn't just prolong the battle any longer. Within a minute, he had to end this. Sun Yun's movement speed was increased. He ran straight at the beast, decisively slashing his sword into the beast's body. The beast glanced after him. Before he could activate the recovery skill, Sun Yun continued to attack the beast. Sun Yun smiled with satisfaction. The beast was in extreme pain. When he thought his plan had succeeded, his arm was suddenly cut off by the beast. The beast's attack was so fast that he had no time to react. The scene of his hand being severed, blood spurting out in streams, his screams of pain constantly echoing. The pain did not make Sun Yun lose his guard. He stared at the beast. However, this beast just stood motionless, not attacking him at all, making him feel extremely strange. The more Sun Yun thought about it, the more strange it became. Even though the beast possessed an absurd recovery ability, it still seemed like it needed some time to recover. This is also his opportunity to finish off his opponent, but now he has lost both his hand and his sword. With the current situation, Sun Yun still has 11 seconds to increase his movement speed by 15%. He began to pick up his shield. He knew this was probably crazy, but it was better to take a risk than to die in vain. Sun Yun used his last strength to run forward. The beast let out a few squeaks. The beast now reacted. It was waiting for Sun Yun to step forward. The battle gradually came to an end. Sun Yun crashed into the beast. The beast was pushed by the force of his attack and fell to the ground. Its bones were so broken that they were deformed. Before the beast could react, Sun Yun stood in front of him, completely devastated. He used his shield to cut off the beast's head. Fresh blood poured out. His head fell from his neck. After many difficulties, fighting until he lost his arm, Sun Yun successfully completed the third level of the trial. After defeating the beast, Sung V was taken to the waiting room on the fourth floor. All the wounds on his body were healed. His arms were like the lizard's tail, breaking and growing back. Sun Yun was extremely energetic. He immediately tested his new arm by smashing through the wall. Now, he can rest assured that his arm has completely recovered. With his body completely recovered, Sun Yun had time to think. He didn't understand why. The doppelganger soul he received from the cave after completing the trials on the third floor, compared to the monsters he had encountered, its soul density was completely different. He collected the soul into his body. The attribute table appeared. The necromancy characteristic had reached 100% proficiency. Sun Yun increased from level F necromancy by one level to level E necromancy. With level E necromancy properties, Sun Yun has the ability to absorb the souls of dead creatures and use it at will. In addition, Sun Yun also receives three other additional effects. He can temporarily enhance his stats, and can store and use the number of souls he can use. When absorbing the soul of a dead creature, you can randomly receive any of the creature's awakened skills. Sun Yun was bewildered and surprised. If that was the case, he could absorb their skills just like how he received accelerated recovery after near death. Next, he read the community order and entered the community chat group. The chat room has now become familiar to him. 
Sun Yoon accidentally read messages from other players. A player named Kim Sung Jun revealed to everyone that it is very likely that the trial on the fourth floor is not just one trial but an integrated trial. And it's very likely that the subject of the experiment was competition, a competition between hunters, which simply means trying to kill each other. The fourth floor trial quickly begins in this trial round. The player may be paired with another challenger. Defeat King Gotlin in the remaining time the challenging team dies otherwise beyond the remaining time. Penalty of training failure must be death. Sun Yoon was taken to a magic circle, where not only him but also two other players were standing there. A strange impression was the first feeling Sun Yoon had when he arrived here. One of them took the initiative to speak first, introducing herself as Lee Ha Son. Her forte is supporting the team. She is also an E-rank hunter. The man carrying the sword on his shoulder continued Ha Son. He is Lee Sung Ho, a hunter specializing in close combat, a D-rank hunter. Sun Yoon looked at Sung Ho in surprise. I don't understand why this player named Sung Ho behaves like that. If it's D rank, it's probably not an ordinary rank. Sung Yoon finally introduced himself to the two of them. Sung Ho looked at Sung Yun with suspicious eyes. His voice full of surprise asked Sung Yoon. What? Do you want to become a hunter? Not only that, he also threatened Sung Yoon. Don't get in his way. Sung Ho continued to speak loudly. Loudly warning Sung Yoon and Ha Son. I warn you in advance, if I see you becoming a burden to the team, you have to leave. This man's attitude towards you is familiar to you. He is not the first person to say harsh words to you. Even though you don't like Sung Ho, his abilities are not mediocre. And skills are the most important thing in this tower of trials. If possible, you will use him to pass this trial round. The three of them entered the door together. The theme of this round of trials is three-on-three -three competition collaborating with teammates and completing trials before other teams. As soon as the door opened, the goblins immediately rushed out, attacking the players. Sung Ho began to feel difficult, he could not understand why these goblins could act in such an organized manner. Even though he's having difficulty, he still uses his mouth to give orders to others. Damn newcomer, what are you doing? Hurry up, fight! Sung Yoon started to get annoyed with him. He didn't even pay attention to what was going on anymore, just jumping into the fight like an idiot. Ha Son hurriedly said, I will complete the spell soon, wait a moment. Sung Ho immediately interrupted her words, asking her to step up to support him. Sung Yoon walked over and said to Ha Son, it looks like he needs help, wait a minute. Sung Yoon immediately rushed forward, making Ha Son extremely ecstatic. She stopped talking to Sung Yoon, if you leave your position, who will watch my back? But when Ha Son turned around, the goblins behind her were completely destroyed by Sung Yoon. Sung Ho was still in a tense state with the goblins, other than defending, he couldn't do anything to the goblins. Sung Ho was so embarrassed that he became angry and continuously cursed them. The goblins coordinated well together and finally knocked the weapon in his hand away. A goblin with a fierce expression rushed forward. Sung Ho had nothing left in his hands. He could only shield himself with his bare hands. Letting himself fall into this situation, he placed all responsibility on his teammates. If my team didn't have a damn idiot, then, at this very moment of life and death, as soon as Sung Ho said that damn fool, he rushed forward and slashed the goblins to death, saving his life. Sung Yoon stood in front of Sung Ho asking him to step back, he was the one blocking his way. Sun Yun single-handedly swept away all the goblins here, every move he made caused these goblins to collapse. Sun Yun received the Goblin Hunter achievement. Sun Ho could only stand and watch. The person he looked down on has now achieved the achievement he wanted. Sun Ho and Ha Son please get out of the way, it's time for Sun Yun to show off his abilities. He slowly stepped forward the absorbed beast soul flying out with the properties he absorbed. This black smoke emitted meant that the monsters could not observe his actions. Now, fighting these guys is as easy as eating candy in Sung Yoon's eyes. All the souls he had absorbed had been used up for his stats. Strength plus 3, Agility plus 4, Stamina plus 2, Evasion plus 7. Sung Yoon has absorbed a skill of the goblin race. Sung Yoon's eyes glowed. 
he had learned the Goblin Owl Eye skill. With this skill, he has the ability to see more widely at night and also has a quick feeling when detecting targets in his field of vision. Having a new skill, Sung Yoon had to immediately test it. His eyes looked far away in one direction, sure enough. His ability to see in dungeons had expanded a lot, as did his sense of detecting objects in his field of vision. Sung Yoon has demonstrated his VIP pro monster fighting skills, but Sung Ho still does not recognize his strength. His attitude when talking to him was a bit shy, but still extremely bossy. You're lucky as a newbie that you only have to encounter low-level goblins, but luck is also a form of strength. Congratulations on defeating them. Sung Yoon didn't care about him, he put on his hat, he said to Sung Ho, from now on you will be the guide. If there is anything dangerous, you will notify the two of them. Sung Ho has witnessed Sung Yoon's strength, he no longer dares to comment, but if he doesn't lead the way, he doesn't know what to do. Sung Yoon immediately assigned the task to Sung Ho, he just needed to stay behind and protect Ms. Ha Son. As for Ha Son, he was still walking in the middle of the formation, paying close attention to the movements on both sides. If he had any doubts, he had to report it to Sung Yun. The three of them continued the challenge, Sung Yun continuously absorbed the goblin's soul. His skill proficiency increased to 11% and then to 12%. The time to complete the challenge was 14 hours and 37 minutes. They continued to go deeper inside. Ha Son quickly realized something was unusual. From just now, they had not seen any goblins appear. Sun Yun's eyes were extremely sharp. He seemed to have seen something ahead and quickly rushed up. Sun Ho and Ha Son also hurriedly followed. When they caught up with Sun Yun, the two of them felt extremely surprised by the scene before them. The goblins lying motionless in a pool of blood, seemingly having fought with another team. Sun Yun silently observed the situation. The pool of blood around the goblin was still very fresh, showing that they had not gone far. You have to be faster, if someone else's team defeats the boss here first. The penalty for failure will be carried out immediately. Sung Yoon urged his teammates to hurry up. At the same time, somewhere else, Sung Yoon's rival group is fighting hard against goblins. An extremely bored player jumped on the neck of a goblin, he said to them, even though they couldn't answer, these monsters are too annoying, let's quickly find the boss. He circled in the air, then his fiery eyes swooped down on them. They didn't even have time to react, lying dead on the ground. Their team continued to walk to a door. The commander immediately ordered a member of the team to quickly open the door. The announcement from the tower immediately appeared. Their team was qualified to open the boss. The whole team should enter the palace opposite the goblin leader. However, another unexpected thing happened. Just as their team was about to open the last door, something like an invisible wall stopped them. A message appears, the goblin leader will not appear if there are more than two squads in its area. Teams in this restricted area cannot escape without defeating the goblin leader. Sun Yun's team quickly appeared, surprisingly not many old men. Sun Yun stepped forward, he reminded his teammates, they seemed quite strong, especially the leader, let me go first. Then he instructed Ha Son behind him to use magic to increase agility and heal him, while Sung Ho protected Ha Son. Everyone quickly followed Sung Yoon's plan. With Ha Son's support, his agility increases by 2, recovery increases by 5, and the support effect lasts for 10 minutes. The captain on the other side looked at Sung Yoon's appearance and couldn't ignore it, so he ordered his juniors not to let Sung Yoon come here. Sung Yoon proactively rushed forward. If he stopped this battle, he would definitely win. Sun Yun's moving speed was like a tornado, making the captain confused. The arrogant appearance from before disappeared. He cowardly retreated back to let his teammates act as a shield to stop Sun Yun. Black Hair quickly followed orders without a shadow of a doubt, reading the order to open the shield to stop Sun Yun. The shield immediately appeared, shielding their team. However, just that is still too ordinary. Sun Yun only needed one sword strike to cause the shield to shatter. Sun Yun was charged with momentum, one sword stroke, then two sword strokes. His opponent flew into the air with a stream of fresh blood. Sun Yun is one against three. He's so cool, 
I'm cool when I step into the trial tower without even realizing it. The captain who fought with Sung Yoon felt something very strange. He was sure his skills were more skilled, but Sung Yoon could still use strange positions to block his attacks. When he wants to use his strength to gain the upper hand, but things are not that easy. Sung Yoon changed position, suddenly moving to the back, he wanted to end everything from behind. However, the truth is not like what he imagined. When he swung his sword, this guy was faster than him and successfully blocked a fatal blow. Sung Yoon stared into his opponent's eyes, he understood the problem. His eyes, his eyes are the key. He could see through his sword strokes. When he started to counterattack, something unexpected suddenly happened. Sung Yoon has more tricks than he thought. His shield comes from nowhere, out of sight of his opponent. Look, it's not like your brother was suddenly chosen to be the main character. Sung Yoon rushed forward and stabbed him straight in the stomach. A notice board immediately appeared in front of him. Congratulations, you have completed a special mission. Additional rewards will be given for the fourth floor trial. Ha Son and Sung Ho walked over. Ha Son accidentally saw Sung Yoon's arm shaking. She asked Sung Yoon with concern, is it okay? Sung Yoon's mouth said okay, but his face was full of insecurity. He had killed three people for his survival. Ha Son could understand Sung Yoon's mood. Perhaps he must have been very shocked when he killed someone. Sung Yoon turned around and asked the two of them. He plans to fight the boss now. Do you think it's okay? Everyone agreed with Sung Yoon's decision. One sword is passion. Two swords is passion. The goblin boss who didn't even have a chance to act was sent out of the tower by Sung Yoon. He completed his trial goal, successfully passing the fourth floor of the trial tower. The attribute stats were continuously increased, and he also received the instant acceleration skill, which was also an additional reward. The mission was completed, the three of them had to part ways. Before breaking up with Sung Yoon, Ha Son boldly said to Sung Yoon, maybe I'm saying this a bit too much. But he just did what he had to do, that's what someone had to do. If Sung Yoon can't do it, I have to do it. Sung Yoon was extremely surprised, he did not think he would receive these words from a stranger. Ha Son suddenly pointed forward, making Sung Yoon extremely confused. He immediately received a friend request from her. She blushed and told him, after returning to Earth, look for Lee Ha Son of the White Silver Society. Sung Yoon continues to be alone. He looks at the corpse he just killed, wondering if he should absorb the human soul or not. When he first discovered his ability, he was always embarrassed because he knew that once he did this, it meant he had crossed an irreversible line. And you have now made a decision, you must become stronger, but not by killing people. However, if the situation requires it, he will still do it. He absorbed human souls into his body. His dream of becoming a hunter aroused desires deep within him. The Tower of Trials gave him a chance, and he would hold on to that chance tightly. Sun Yoon was taken to the waiting room of the fifth floor challenge. As soon as he entered the room, he received a notification. Trial Summary is a system that will score the ranks of all established challengers. The system asked him to enter a nickname. After a moment of pondering, Sung Yoon decided to change his nickname Han Sung Yoon to Hunter. He was even more surprised when he saw his name ranked 16th in the rankings. The system continues to announce that the challengers in the top 50 will be called Pioneers. Those called Pioneers will receive benefits on the 8th floor. If you maintain the position of a Pioneer until the 8th floor, you will receive a special trait called Aura. After checking everything, Sung Yoon continued to do what should be done. Today, he collected four more souls, players Lee Son, Lee Jin Ho, Sang Eun and Goblin King. Sun Yoon felt extremely excited, he had surpassed the limits of a human being. Next, he bought a return stone, he could return to his original position within three days and decided to use this stone to return to Earth. The system has fulfilled Sun Yoon's dream, he has returned to Earth. In three days, he must return to the trial tower. Sun Yoon suddenly woke up, he had truly returned to Earth. He wanted to go back to sleep and couldn't sleep. The strong scent of alum made him unable to sleep. As soon as he set foot on the ground, he saw the weapons from the tower placed on the floor, even he was surprised by this. 
He just said it aimlessly but he didn't expect it to come true. He immediately became excited, just wanting to act quickly. Because the more people return to Earth, the richer the items become and the deeper the pockets of item hunters. Sun Yun held the items in his hand and started thinking, I have to sell these as soon as possible. But the only problem is that only those who have obtained hunter certification can sell the items. On the other hand, to get a hunter certification, he had to register for the certification exam and start taking the exam the next time he returned to Earth. Sun Yun immediately picked up his phone and started contacting his old training center. As soon as the coach heard the voice, he knew who the owner of the voice was. He was annoyed and said to Sun Yun, If you want a refund of your membership fee, just do it online, no need to call directly. However, Sun Yun said something that made the flower chief extremely surprised. He repeatedly asked Sun Yun to think carefully and then decide, don't let temporary desires control you. Sun Yun thought very carefully before contacting him, however, he had something he needed his help with. He wanted me to help him pass the hunter test. The flower chief immediately mentioned the results of the previous test to Sun Yun, who received a bitter F grade. Furthermore, Sun Yun doesn't have any characteristics or skills, but Sun Yun insists on giving him money. If you ask for help, he has no reason to refuse. Sun Yun smiled contentedly, he just needed the chief to help him pass the hunter test today. Sun Yun walked into the bathroom, he accidentally saw his body in the mirror. His muscles were firm and strong. Women loved him very much. After that, he hurriedly got dressed. This was not the time for him to be self-indulgent. The hunter test was scheduled. He had to hurry. As soon as Sun Yun walked out the door, he accidentally met the neighbor next door. He smiled and joked a few words before leaving. The neighbor looked after him, not expecting that in just a short time of not seeing each other, Sun Yun would become so muscular. Sun Yun waved to call a taxi, but there was no taxi, so he had to do it himself. Sun Yun ran across the buildings, flying through the air, and soon he arrived at the Hunter Association. Chief Hua had been waiting for him for a long time. Sun Yun mysteriously told Chief Hua, Recently, I had to deal with some personal matters, so it seemed like years to me. Inspector Kim in Hu is also present, he tells Sun Yun, he is the one responsible for scoring the hunter test. He told Sun Yun that he was exempted from the theory test and the interview under the supervision of head of department Hua. After that, Sun Yun was directly invited inside to continue the practice test. As soon as Sun Yun walked in, Chief Hua told In Hu, Inspector Kim, like I said, make it as difficult as possible. The two of them walked up to the test observation station and asked Sun Yun to choose the difficulty level for the test. He could choose the difficulty level on a scale of 1 to 10. Memories of the past immediately came back, when he chose level 1 difficulty and was defeated by a goblin. This time, he decided to get back what he lost. Just open your eyes and see. He chose level 10, surprising everyone. The challenge requires Sun Yun to defeat the phoenix. Chief Hua smiled evilly, he was determined not to let Sun Yun win, he secretly destroyed his weapon. He will let Sun Yun see reality for those who are unreasonable and act like him. The phoenix started to attack Sun Yun, it screamed fire. Sun Yun just smiled at it. In another timeline, a list of candidates who successfully passed hunter certification appeared, including the name of Hoa's department head, Hua Man Ho. At that moment, he thought he was the best. However, over time, the peer gap becomes increasingly wider. In the end, he gave up because he couldn't keep up with them. In the world of hunters, talent is everything, he had to accept the truth and stop striving. As for ordinary people who fall before unbreakable walls, it's not just him. Anyone in the same situation as him thinks the same. He saw his old self in Sun Yun, so he did these things to make Sun Yun give up. Man Ho saw the weapon in Sun Yun's hand broken, he felt extremely happy. Sun Yun felt strange, no matter how low rank this weapon was, it couldn't break that easily. His suspicious eyes immediately turned to the department head. Man Ho smiled horribly, he wanted to see what Sun Yun would do with that corn wood weapon. Phoenix flaps its wings and breathes fire. Not only was Sun Yun not afraid but he also felt excited, 
This was a great opportunity to test the skills he learned in the fourth floor practice round. He used instant acceleration and jumped high. His feet felt like they were glued to the wall. This is when Sun Yun counterattacked. The fire-breathing phoenix attacked him. Sun Yun rushed straight into it. Even though the weapon in his hand was broken, it was still enough to make him stab straight into the phoenix's eyes. A stream of fresh blood shot out from Phoenix's eyes, and Sun Yun landed on the ground. Phoenix's eyes were injured but still not enough to make Sun Yun overcome the challenge. He casually picked up the brick and threw it at Phoenix's head with all his force. Phoenix's head was split in two. The brick flew straight to In Hu and Man Ho. The check system rang. Sun Yun completed the challenge. He waved his hand and asked Man Ho, Hey, are you okay? I didn't expect it to fly up there. The hunter card he had always wanted was finally in his possession. He had officially become a hunter. Receiving the card from the association staff's hand, he asked her, I can enter the dungeon and sell items, right? Elsewhere, Man Ho was extremely angry. He slammed on the table, loudly said to In Hu, the inspector, please explain what happened just now. I said to miss him in 10 seconds, not for him to pass. In Hu was also extremely confused. He tried his best and followed Man Ho's request. The difficulty level was also adjusted so that Sun Yun couldn't pass, but who would have thought? Man Ho was still extremely angry. He continued to ask, so what about lowering the rank? In Hu shook his head, it was impossible. Defeating the monster in the test was at least a D rank. In just 10 seconds, if only Sun Yun was ranked D, in Hu would definitely receive questioning from the association. At that moment, Sun Yun knocked on the door and proactively entered their room. He deliberately told the two of them, I got the certificate. He walked over, stood in front of Man Ho. He smirked and asked Man Ho, You look unwell. Is something wrong? Man Ho forced a smile and said to Sun Yun, Congratulations. I'm not called Hunter Sun Yun. I thought everything was over here. Sun Yun suddenly asked Man Ho, before you retired, were you C level, right, making Man Ho feel extremely confused. Sun Yun tilted his head to the side, he repeated every word Man Ho said to him, and now he would say those words to him. Man Ho is the incompetent person, not you. Man Ho was so embarrassed that he became angry and wanted to rush right at Sun Yun. Man Ho's provocative action was completely within Sun Yun's expectations. He leaned to the side, daring me to catch you, then responded with a fist to the stomach. He told Man Ho, this is just self-defense. Then I intentionally slapped him in the face, and this slap was revenge. Man Ho stumbled and fell backwards. Could this be the strength of a C-rank person? A while later, In Hu and Sun Yun had a private conversation. In Hu wants Sun Yun to become the association's exclusive hunter. The basic salary is 1 million won negotiable if Sun Yun wants. The amount of 1 million won is certainly not a small amount of money. He stared at the number 1 million, then asked In Hu, did you guys manipulate the difficulty of the test? In Hu was heartbroken by Sun Yun's words, his face immediately darkened. Sun Yun told him, I don't have a salary problem, but I also won't sign contracts with unreliable people. Two days later, TV broadcast the news with information. Recently rumors have been raised about the phenomenon of hunters being summoned to the trial tower. Sun Yun closed his computer. Now everyone knows the existence of the trial tower. He sold some items at a pretty good price and made good use of the past three days. Now it's time for you to say goodbye to Earth and return to the trial tower. In the blink of an eye, Sun Yun returned to the tower. He looked down at the rolling stone below and said, Having my items here means I can freely carry items back and forth between the earth and the tower. First, he will put the items in his personal inventory for neatness. He jumped off the bed, he mentally prepared himself to enter the next level of challenge. The system displays a notification, you have achieved your first return, you have achieved the truth eye skill. With this skill, Sun Yun can clearly see the nature of the targets he observes and can also distinguish right from wrong in the opponent's words. Being able to observe and distinguish between right and wrong is truly a great skill, and having just returned, I have gained a new skill. 
Next, Sun Yun used 5,500 points to buy a C-class lightning sword and 3,800 points to buy a D-class iron shield. He prepared everything that needed to be prepared, ready to enter the fifth level of testing. Hunting the designated target is the mission for the fifth challenge level. You must destroy the werewolf leader in the Wolf Valley crate, awarding experience and items dropped from the boss. Sun Yun only has one day to complete the mission. Sun Yun was taken by the tower to the Wolf Valley. As soon as he appeared, he immediately attracted the eyes of the wolves here. They saw him as prey and simultaneously jumped at him. Sun Yun was extremely calm. He gently moved the blade. One by one the wolves fell, blood splashing out, creating a rain of blood. Sun Yun quickly ran away. He even deliberately told the wolves that these wolf cubs were a bit weak. Immediately, behind the wolf that he had just kicked away, a pack of white wolves appeared. They were much taller and bigger than the pack of wolves he had met. A wolf suddenly roared, then suddenly swallowed the previous wolf. They all looked at Sun Yun with hungry eyes. Sun Yun looked up. It seemed that the target that needed to be destroyed had finally appeared. The group of white wolves simultaneously rushed to attack Sun Yun, making Sun Yun even more excited. He jumped forward. It was just a warm-up. Now he officially took action. Sun Yun moved quickly, wriggling through the giant bodies of white wolves. It was unknown when deep cuts appeared on the bodies of these wolves. Sun Yun aerobatics, thanks to his skill in using swords. His level E sword skill reached 100% proficiency, increasing to level E+. His recovery skill was also increased to D level. Sun Yun became more and more excited. The sword skill he acquired on the third floor had almost reached its maximum level. He is now looking to gain other skills and absolutely cannot let the experience he receives go to waste. At that moment, two white wolves appeared and attacked him from behind. Sun Yun immediately turned around. It's not easy, my dear. Two more wolves fell under Sun Yun's hands. After that, he started collecting their souls. Sun Yun continued to think. In the past few battles, the lightning effect did not activate much. It seemed like 10% to him was a bit small. After absorbing all of the white wolf's souls into his body, his skill proficiency increased by 16%. Sun Yun looked at the attribute system table and said, Experience is not much, but necromancy skills have increased a bit. Sun Yun continued to go deeper into the valley. The deeper he went inside, the more the scene before him surprised him. The white wolves were lying in a pool of blood spread out on the ground. He casually sat down next to a corpse. Looking at the double slash marks like this, perhaps someone else had come before him. Sun Yun continued to look at the cut next to him. There was also a sword cut on the cliff. This is also the right time for Sun Yun to apply his truth-telling skills. A notice board with information about what he saw appeared before his eyes. Then he discovered that the person who created the slash was quite skilled. It seemed that this was a difficult opponent for Sun Yun. Here, suddenly a very strange sound appeared. Sun Yun hurriedly ran to the place where the sound was coming from. He went to a cave, and from inside the cave a wolf flew out. Sun Yun was extremely surprised. The werewolf leader's target was dead. And when the werewolf leader died, Sun Yun knew what to do. A new notice appeared before his eyes. There was a fake challenger from another dimension invading your mission space. Adjustment is the mission objective. Destroy the challenger that has invaded your mission space. Sun Yun was even more surprised. So there are many other dimensions outside of Earth. So there are also many other challenging towers. It's really hard to predict. The challenger with the iron armor suddenly spoke to Sun Yun. A fake challenger in an underdeveloped dimension. It seems like you came here on a mission then directly pointed the sword at Sung. Yun. The appearance of the fake challenge was completely unexpected by Sung Yun. He did not know that the mission's goal would be stolen by someone else. In the midst of misfortune, there is still a silver lining. The challenger appeared and his trial had not yet failed, otherwise he would have died by now. The challenger saw Sung Yun's silent appearance and felt extremely excited, thinking that Sung Yun was afraid of him. He proactively rushed forward. Sun Yun just stood there without reacting. Then, he suddenly kicked the corpse of the beast under his feet at him. 
The challenger immediately swung his sword, cutting the monster's body in two. Sun Yun took advantage of the opportunity that the beast was only focusing on the beast in front. He continuously moved, and finally found his loophole. He aimed the sword straight at his spine, but his plan did not succeed so easily. His armor was extremely sturdy, leaving him unable to do anything else. He looked at Sun Yun with disdain, who thought it was so simple. His body radiated a terrifying murderous aura, he wanted a move to finish Sun Yun. The defensive shield in front of Sun Yun's chest was immediately broken by his sword, causing his whole body to stumble and fall backwards. The body collided with the rock behind it, a loud noise rang out. Sun Yun endured the pain and stood up, his bones were weak, his wrist seemed to be broken. The challenger did not expect Sun Yun to be able to block his light sword. It seems that defeating him was no longer as simple as he thought. Sun Yun loudly asked him, an intruder from another dimension. You, how can you invade this space of mine? The challenger slowly walked closer to Sun Yun. His question proved to him that he was an idiot and didn't even know what a floor hack was. Sun Yun was extremely confused. He didn't understand why these unclean things always appeared in his trial tower. The challenger continued to exude a murderous aura. He told him not to blame him for these things. Since this tower is always like that, he won't make things messy, so let's end this right here. Sun Yun quickly stopped him, he still had something to ask him, he wanted to know what space intrusion was. Looking at Sun Yun's dying appearance at this moment, he filled his heart with pity and told him that one of the features unlocked on the 8th floor is called space intrusion. Players can buy tickets at the store to interrupt other people's trial floors. Sun Yun was still not satisfied. He wanted to ask him another question. Just now, he mentioned his birth space, but does that mean he came from another dimension? The challenger started to feel funny, where else could he have come from? Sun Yun's questions were answered. He slowly stood up. Everything is not over yet, baby. He stared at him, then activated the eye of truth. The result is still that this guy told the truth and did not lie to you. Sun Yun's actions made him even angrier, he pointed a sword in front of him, why did he dare to judge him? Sun Yun challenged him even more, he admitted to him that he had scrutinized him, so what could he do to him? Just when this guy was about to attack Sun Yun, he suddenly asked him, because he told me the information I needed, in return he wanted to know if there was anything interesting. He held up his broken wrist and revealed to him that I could bear my arm like this thanks to a kind of pain resistance skill, which meant I didn't have to hold my arm in pain. Sun Yun let go of his wrist. He would perform magic tricks for him. The quick recovery skill was activated. His wrist was immediately restored. His actions just now were just to challenge the contestant to reveal some true information. The fake challenge became more and more aggressive. No matter who Sun Yun was or had self-healing skills, it would never change the truth. Sun Yun grabbed the sword, you are not as weak as he thought, you still have something that you have not revealed to him, that is your strength will continuously increase. The challenger became even more confused, Sun Yun had both healing and enhancement skills. Sun Yun activated the special effect of the assassin's cloak, his movement speed increased by 15%, he continued to use instant acceleration. The challenger found it more and more unbelievable. These things were really crazy. How could a player on the fifth floor have so many skills? Sun Yun moved quickly to his side. He couldn't even keep up with his moving speed. He just stood there motionless for him to kill at will. The challenger couldn't let himself lose to a guy like Sun Yun. His body showed a source of murderous intent. He aimed at Sun Yun but was still slower than his speed. The whole sword was pinned tightly inside the rock. He quickly pulled out his sword and continuously attacked Sun Yun. Sun Yun took the initiative to step back. The skill he was using was a high-level enhancement skill. Being hit by it would be very dangerous. But now, his stats are higher than his. He believes he can avoid danger to his life. But the matter of concern was his armor, which was a high-level piece of equipment that he couldn't penetrate with his current ability. Sun Yun constantly moved, defending against his attacks. When he revealed a weakness, he would attack. His purpose in doing so was to put pressure on him, after a while of chasing. 
His armor suddenly glowed, he screamed, not understanding what was happening. While attacking him, Sung Yun silently activated the sea level lightning sword. Attacking with this weapon will have a 10% chance of creating a lightning effect. In the end, the challenger could not resist the lightning, he sat motionless. Sun Yun looked at his weak appearance at this moment and felt somewhat lucky. It would be difficult if that armor could resist the paralysis effect, but now, everything can be settled. His weak body tried to stand up, wanting to continue challenging Sun Yun, but the pain from his body made him unable to stand up. He said his last words to Sun Yun, if under normal circumstances, I would have won. How could a fifth layer fake challenger have so many moves? Sun Yun slowly walked closer to him. He was the one who was subjective because he believed too much in his armor and his level. Who could blame him now? When Sun Yun wanted to finish him off, he suddenly begged him. He would answer any question from him, just begged him not to kill him. However, Sun Yun coldly said two unnecessary words. Sun Yun stabbed him in the heart with a knife, sending him off to meet his grandparents. Sun Yun clearly felt himself changing. He became more and more frustrated with killing. But if you hesitate, you will be in big trouble. The trial tower's fifth floor trial has finally been completed. At this moment, the challenger's body slowly dissolved. Sun Yun quickly absorbed his soul inside. He had obtained the soul of Adrax's fake challenge. His strength increased by 15%. Sun Yun almost lost the delicious dish. Sun Yun started to feel strange why the reward notification hadn't appeared yet. But when the notification appeared, he was extremely disappointed. The difficulty of the challenge had no rewards. All rewards would be modified. Sun Yun learned the A-level 3 sets of beheading skills, receiving 7,500 completion reward points. In addition, he also received an additional 3,500 points. Next, Sun Yun continues to be taken to the waiting room on the 6th floor. All wounds and unusual effects will disappear. Information about the fake challenge Han Sung Yoon will be displayed on the index board. Sung Yoon entered the waiting room. He read the inventory order, then took off his jacket and placed it inside. He was always thinking about the dimension of invasion that the challenger had talked about. He couldn't let his guard down in the trial tower. He wanted to spend many questions until the 8th floor. He read the question command. The number of questions he could ask was five. Sun Yun started to hesitate, then decided to send the admin a question. What is the invasion floor in another dimension and will I be warned if a fake challenger from another floor enters my challenge mission area? Sun Yun's question was quickly answered, so quickly that he couldn't have expected it. Admin answered him in turn. The invasion floor is a system where you can invade other people's challenge areas but only in the first ten levels. However, you cannot interfere with special challenges such as combination challenges. This is a function you can get on the 8th floor, which means you can't use it now. Sun Yun wanted to continue asking and the answer he wanted to know was how to infiltrate other people's mission space. But the system sounded an SOS warning. He could not have this information in the current floor. Only the first question was answered so the number of questions would not be lost. Sun Yun couldn't believe it. He thought he only needed to ask and he would get an answer, but luckily he didn't lose his turn to ask unfairly. Next, Sun Yun continued to read the inventory order. His shield was completely destroyed. After that, you can use it. 